Hey guys, my name is Fred, I'm the image engineer, and thank you for tuning into my channel. None of the brands mentioned in the video are sponsored, so I can tell you exactly what I like and dislike about this product. And if you enjoyed the content of this video, please support the channel by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, or joining my Patreon to receive members only access to free downloads, one on one tutorials, and more. fundamental requirements when it comes to photography before you start shooting. You'll need a camera, a lens, a reliable support system, and filters. Which is why I want to talk to you about the long exposure kit from Nisi. This four piece filter kit provides excellent flexibility if you are shooting photography and video. Not only do you get a polarizer and a three stop ND, but you also get the much darker 10 stop ND as well as the 15 stop ND. For this exercise, I really didn't want to break the bank and invest in a matte box, rails, and 100 mm filters, I wanted to see what's the best solution for a run and gun setup for my Blackmagic that I can also double up and use on the photography side of things. And this is why I thought the uh, long exposure filter kit actually really comes in handy. The circular filters are perfectly capable of delivering great results straight away. So without further ado, let's explore the five reasons why filters matter and why you need to invest in a good set of filters. most common filter to use in any kind of photography or video is of course your polarizer filter. Now the Nisi polarizer darkens your image by six stops and cuts out reflected light as well as reducing haze glare, adds a little bit of a contrast to it and also a little bit of warmth to the image. Polarizers are most effective when facing 90 degrees away from the sun. And the quickest way to spot a polarizer is of course looking at a bright blue sky. You'll quickly notice that the bright blue sky becomes quite dark and if there are any clouds they'll immediately pop out and stand out beautifully against the darkened blue sky. It's also important to note that the CPL does give you a bit of a warmer feel but that can easily be corrected by just shifting the temperature up in Photoshop or in DaVinci Resolve if you're editing a video. To be honest with you, I didn't mind the warmer shift in tones and I actually found it quite flattering. Now all the filters in the set blocks infrared light, which is an amazing asset to have, especially for video. As I've noticed a lot of times with the black magic, specifically when I'm shooting dark areas, I tend to sometimes get a bit of infrared noise in the shadows, especially in the evenings and early mornings. Now that we've covered the uh, polarizer filter, let's move on to the ND filters. Now, firstly, we've got the three stop ND filter, which allows you just to darken the image a little bit. While it doesn't polarize the sky, it also includes an IR filter and darkens the image by three stops. The other filters in this pack are the ND1000 and the ND32000, which basically means your image gets darkened by 10 stops and 15 stops respectively. Thanks to the nice slim design of the Nisi filters, you won't have any vignetting in the corners of your image at all. If you're using a single ND filter, such as the 10 stop or 15 stop ND filter, it'll allow you to portray movement in your scene, as most of the times I've found that shooting at F16, 100 ISO, my shutter is open for anything from 5 minutes to 45 minutes sometimes even. That's how you can create those beautiful misty waterfalls or moving clouds up in the sky. 
Of course, the three stop also darkens the image. I found that in broad daylight, it's not as effective as it is during sunset or sunrise, but it's a great asset for video. Another great advantage of the ND filters is that you can now use a shadow aperture for your video shoot. Using the six stop polarizer filter, instead of using F16, you can actually stop down to F2.8 on a normal sunny day. Lastly, if you invest in a good filter system, you'll know that filter will last you a lifetime. That's just it with an easy filters. They're incredibly well built. Each filter's glass is made from HK9L Pro Optical Glass and features a double-sided scratch-resistant coating as well as being hydrophobic, which is a great addition, especially for landscape photography. Lastly, these filters are way more affordable than its counterparts, like the Lee filters and Tiffins that I've seen out there. And the quality actually looks better These days there's so many other filters to choose from. Uh, you've got your Peter McKinnon VNDs. Tiffin's range of filters is also great. Lee, as I've mentioned before, but Nisi really gave them a run for their money now with uh, the introduction of these filters. I know they've been on the market for quite a while. When I went to go and review prices of all the competitors, Nisi really stood out from everybody. Same build quality, if not better, better optics cheaper price i really don't know how they're doing it but they're doing it and it's amazing and i really hope they can carry on with this for a very long time i've pretty much not taken off those filters except for filming this bit right now they've been on my camera on my lens permanently for the whole time for the last two three weeks while i've been testing out uh, all the filters reviewing them it's really just reawakened my passion for landscape photography again i really cannot wait to get back out there and just shoot Cool, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this review with a bit of sample footage and a few few images. Go follow me on Instagram uh, and you can check out more images. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.